Hi, thank you for the opportunity to add another uh, context in which uh, Python can be quite an handy tool. Uh, as you may guess from the title of my talk, uh, my case study concerns history because I am an historian at present, I work at a university, and I have been using Python for uh, working through a data set of uh, bibliographic records that I have been building as part of my project. My research concerns the history of agricultural meteorology. In a nutshell, agricultural meteorology is the discipline that studies how well and climate affect farming, um, and this is a great concern, uh, especially today in times of climate change. Uh, my bibliographic uh, data set concerns information about books, uh, articles, I know the titles, I know the authors, I know the year of publication. Uh, so far it's uh, quite a huge data set for an historian, because historians usually are uh, um, right, uh, uh, histories go into archives, uh, looking at a particular scientist uh, or a particular institution. In this case, I have uh, publications that appeared uh, in uh, very many countries, uh, in uh, very many journals, uh, several languages. Uh, what can I do with them? Um, I had this idea that the data were interesting, but I didn't have the tools to go through this uh, data. Um, and uh, it was a pity because I felt that uh, they could help me to answer questions about how interdisciplinary is agricultural meteorology, uh, whether there was a trend in time for the publication, uh, what were the popular topics in the field, uh, in which journals did these people publish, uh, were they meteorology journal, agricultural journal, mixed journals. So I, I felt that uh, I needed uh, something to use with this. Uh, Python was a great resource. Uh, I had the opportunity to learn Python as part of an initiative to teach IT skills to women, learn IT girl. I had a mentor and she helped me to uh, set up a project and to grow through my records using Pandas and Spacey. I very much liked working with Python and I am grateful to the community that uh, runs Python because you get a lot of support. When I started I very really knew nothing about Python and the tools like Stack Overflow really helped me uh, apart from my mentor. The work that I have been doing has mainly used Pandas and uh, Spacey uh, because uh, I didn't just look at the data but also for instance I looked through the titles of the publications. Um, I cannot uh, tell you in detail how all the results, but I would just like to point out a few things. For instance, uh, uh, the journal articles that are the biggest chunk of my research, of my data set, uh, proved very interesting because, uh, for instance, when I paired them with the journal categories uh, and I did it by hand, what uh, turned out is that uh, several of the, the, the large majority of these publications uh, were printed in agricultural journals. Uh, so uh, you sort of uh, have an indication as an historian that probably the agricultural community was closer to these uh, problems than the meteorological community. And uh, I was, uh, uh, all this kind of information just came out because I could go through the data with quantitative methods that usually historians don't have. I was also very surprised when I looked at what were the popular themes. Uh, with Spacey, I just looked through the English journals uh, with the titles of English journal articles because it was the easiest uh, thing to do. And uh, paradoxically, uh, the most popular uh, uh, Lemma was not plant, was not light, uh, was not uh, climate, uh, it was temperature. And uh, this was uh, quite unexpected because, uh, for instance, uh, uh, many people uh, uh, say that uh, it was rain, the most important factor, but evidently in the, the, the publication suggests different things. You may think that uh, this is not much, but I must say that from the point of view of a historian that usually has to write uh, small stories and try to work out a, a, bigger, a bigger picture from uh, the small story, the possibility to start from the big picture of the data set and uh, to go through it uh, in a systematic way was uh, definitely uh, a very nice thing. So I am really grateful to the people who made this possible uh, and the uh, institution too. Uh, and uh, I think uh, that uh, Python uh, for me as an historian has proved uh, a very uh, important tool and uh, I see that uh, 
within the academic community, there is an increasing interest for these uh, digital tools. And I definitely would like uh, to learn more. And I hope that being in Berlin and working in Berlin, there would be a possibility to sort of uh, increase my skills with Python and uh, to make something more about it. Thank you.